This is really an exciting event. It's great to be here at ETI in Red Springs, North Carolina. It is great to have the NC Comp team together. The key of part of this user evaluation event is being able to get end users together with the vendors, with the funding organization to be able to give feedback on the technology families that will be able to help us assess TBI in the field as we have large-scale combat operations. There are as many TBIs or as many traumatic brain injuries suffered in the civilian population as there are in the military, likely many more. They're different. They don't have blast injury like soldiers or sailors or airmen or Marines are exposed to, but they suffer TBI at a relatively high rate. Today I'm showcasing iPass. It's an optical-based device, and we're hoping to use near-infrared light to calculate intracranial pressure. So far, this event has been great for Vivonics and craniosense. I've gotten a lot of great feedback. I've even gotten advice to go talk to another company to collaborate because we're in a similar space. Our role in NC Comp is really showing our latest and greatest technology, which is a near-infrared based device that can detect brain bleeds from TBI injuries in military health and really health, civilian health too. It's the bleed that you don't see that can be the killer. And that's what we're here to detect. We are developing a AI system to support optic nerve ultrasound. When you get a severe TBI, you have the risk of having elevated uh, brain pressure, and that's a life-threatening condition. And so we want to have a lightweight, portable, in-field assessment of whether or not you have life-threatening brain pressure. It's such a rewarding experience to design and develop these medical devices for not only the civilian population, but also the service members. We're showcasing a pupillometer. It's an automated pupil assessment tool and it allows rapid, accurate, and objective assessment of pupil size and reactivity. It is actually currently used in over 600 hospitals in the United States. It's also used internationally in neuro ICUs, but also any intensive care environment, as well as the emergency departments. Events like this really help us be able to expand our opportunities and our reach into that pre-hospital environment. So this is our NeuroHawk military device. This device uses nine antenna that alternate transmitting and receiving very low power radio waves. So if a warfighter has a suspected TBI, we show a red light on this screen. That indicates that we've detected a hemorrhage using our device. Events like this that cost these individuals nothing to come and show their wares to the DOD are very important for growth of the communities in which they live growth in this community that's hosting this event, and obviously opening the eyes of, of the Warfighter Brain Health and the DOD communities about the potential of partnering with the small businesses as well as the large corporations and the research organizations. This is also part of our technology integration, optimized military health and performance, where we'll be able to look at things beyond TBI, all in the same place, talking the same language, and be able to do this as our partners want to get these groups together and break down stovepipes, get everybody talking to try to deliver solutions that are going to improve the health and performance of service members.